now that the contract is done, the deal is done, how excited are you to get going? Yeah, now we have the summer, you know, and uh, but for me, it 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 gives me an opportunity. I, I've already set up some meetings with players next week. It, it gives me an opportunity to just to feel my way through what's in the room, get to know the players, them get to know me a little bit, and get myself organized before camp starts. Once camp starts, it gets hectic, and uh, so it gives me a little time to just get my feet on the ground there. So you're going through the interview process. What attracted you? Philadelphia. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how else to answer it. it uh, the city, uh, I've always, I've said it to my wife, I said it to Paul Holmgren years ago. I, I said, I want to coach there someday. And uh, I love the passion. I know it'll be directed at me and our team at certain times the wrong way. I get that, which is fine. But imagine if you can win, you know, what, what that city is. And some of the people in the organization, I've really grabbed a hold of where I think our relationship with my relationship with Chuck can go through the process. Really excited about uh, doing it with him. What about your coaching style and personality? Yeah, I, I think uh, I think the way I like our team to I like our team play to the city. Uh, I think it's important in professional sports that you you play to the personality of the city. Uh, and, it, and it's kind of it's like, it's like I, I like our teams playing that way. I've always liked my team playing that way. So um, I'm hoping, you know, you, you, you have a wish list. Uh, uh, it's going to take some time molding some people. But I just want us to be a hard team. I want us to be respected each and every night that it's going to be a hard game. You may not get the results sometime, but you leave, the team that you played leaves the ring and said, that was a hard team to play against. I think that's very important as we start. Yeah, I, I think there's some uh, uh, some players I don't know that well, the older players, but I, I know who they are. I know I know a couple of them can take another step into another level. Remember last year, everybody talks about last year, and this is why we're here, I guess, right now. Um, some injuries. I'm not, I'm not going to use it as, as the folks that were there. They didn't use it. I won't either. But but it is what it is. Uh, I'm anxious to see some of those guys get healthy, try to get guys to different levels of their game, and then develop the young guys. And uh, I'm still learning uh, as far as the young guys and what they have, what the draft's gonna bring us. Uh, so it's exciting for me because you get to put your hands on it uh, once the season starts and camp starts and, and see what you have. So you've coached uh, Cam Atkinson before in Columbus. Can you just talk a little bit about him as a yeah, he, he, with Cam and I, um, we had a roller coaster there for a little bit. Uh, he was stubborn, and, and he has to be. I, I think stubbornness in a professional athlete is probably why they're playing at the highest level of their sport, uh, is that commitment to the way they think they should do things. Uh, so we went uh, down some roads that uh, we kind of laugh about now. Uh, I've watched him, though, turn into a great pro. Uh, I've watched his leadership grow. Uh, I've watched him play in areas that, uh, as a smaller person, I guess, doesn't play small, but as far as height and weight, that a lot of guys don't like to go to. He goes there. So as our relationship has grown, I have a tremendous amount of respect for him, and he's going to be a huge piece to the, to the Flyers. So when the fans come to the game, what type of team are Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm not one to predict and, and give you thoughts like that. What I'm working to, towards as I start the process and getting to know them, them get, getting to know me, I want to let them know how we want to uh, form this. Uh, what, what are some of the obstacles that we have to go through, some of the tests you're going to go through mentally and physically to get to a team that, as I said, that they have to come through us. If they're going to get to our net, they're going to have to come through us. Uh, we're going to play in their blue. Uh, we're going to go through people. Uh, all the little things in the game uh, that, that, that are still very important to me form who we are. And, and that's, we've got to have some hardness. We, we've got to have some skin. And uh, I think other things take off from there. I miss, I, 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 the locker room is, uh, I've lived there. I've spent my whole life there. I miss the everyday interaction I miss the conflict that comes into certain days when players and coaches don't see eye to eye. 
I miss the, uh, the jubilation. I miss the radio going on after a big win, when you, when you go into the locker room after a big win. I just miss all that stuff that, unfortunately, some people that aren't down there when we're doing it, it's just the greatest, it's the greatest location to, to grow as a person. And I've been fortunate enough to be there. I want to get back there.